Hello designers, welcome back once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create an interactive video component on Figma. Now that Figma supports video embeds, I'm going to show you how we can use that feature to create a video player. So before getting started, let me show you a quick sample of how it works. So here we have a video page and I have a play and pause button. Initially, the video doesn't play. I click on play button and you can see that the video runs and I also have an option to control the audio settings. So I click on this, it's muted. Now it's unmuted. I can pause it back again. So that is how a video player component on Figma would look like. Now without any further ado, let's get started and see how we can create this. So we'll get started with this very basic file which just has a page where we want the video player to come in at this place and then a couple of controls that is the play, pause, mute and unmute buttons that we'll be using to create the video player. So let's get started. I'll take a frame at this particular position where we want the video to come in. So I'll keep this at 700 and let's keep the height at 400. So this should be good. I'll place it in the center, give it a fill. So let's keep it at white and let's see the rounded corners. It's at 12, so I'll give it at 12. So that looks good. I'll add a effect as well so I have a shadow effect so we want the video to come inside this right so I have a sample video so I'll just go to my files this is a sample video you just need to click drag it and bring it to Figma and that's it there you go you have the video so I'll take it inside this particular frame so videos just work as fills in Figma which is really great just like uh, you know images or GIFs that is how videos work as well so it's pretty straightforward just drag and drop it inside Figma so let me just resize this so the good thing is the frames also act as masks so as you can see only this part of the video is visible if you want the whole video to come in just resize it to fit the whole frame so in my case i just want the whole video to come in so i'll keep it somewhere like this it should be good so the whole video is fit inside the frame now so if i click on this and click on play there you go the video is playing and you can also hear the sound of the video which is playing on the background as well so that is a straightforward way to insert a video. But now let's see how we can add controls and make this into a complete player, right? So for that, I'm going to take this outside because we need to create an interactive component. And now I'll create a new frame. Let's add the controls on this particular frame. So again, I'll add a fill, make this white, give it some rounded corners and also add the shadow effect to it. And now we've got to insert the controls inside this. For that, I go to assets. As I mentioned, I already have the controls. I'm going to place it right here. And then you got to uh, align it on the center. So if I go and align it directly with this, both are going to get aligned at one side. So this is a small tip that I wanted to give. So if you want to align it as a group without even grouping it, right? So if I go to layers, these are not grouped. So if I press on shift, you get this new options, right? So if I click on this, now it gets aligned as a group, even without grouping it, right? So this is a very good option or a tip that you can use. So there you go. Those are done. And now I want to change this to a sound setting. So I'll make it as sound. So initially you want wanted to play with the sound right so that is how we want the settings and now that we have created the complete player let me just select both of those and create a component out of it so i'll say create component and a component has been created now what we got to do is add a variant to it so i'll go to the properties and add a variant so now i can add a new variant so now let's uh, try to play with the play button and the pause button right so the sound settings we'll look at it later so in the first thing you want the video to be paused and that is why you have a play button and in the second scenario you want want to play the video so this button basically changes into a pause state right so those are the different states now let's see how we can add interactions to it in the first variant you want the video to not play right so for that go to prototype and here you have some video properties so in this case you want the video to be paused so remove the autoplay option and that is how the video would start with a pause state right and in the second case you want the video to run or play so the autoplay should be enabled so the states on both the videos are now correct all we got to do is add interactions so i select on the play button right here i'll add an interaction from this to the next variant and keep it as instant and here you have an option to reset video position right make sure this is unchecked if you check this every time you use this interaction the video goes back to zero second right but we don't want that we want the pause and play to happen at the exact duration where we are clicking it so leave this unchecked now we want this button to go back to the first state all the settings are pretty much good nothing to change so now let's add this player component onto the frame and let's see how this works so i can either click this option and drag it from here or go to assets and drag this component right from here so there you go i'm gonna place it right here and let's see how this works i'm gonna hit on present and there we have it so it's paused in the first state unlike we saw previously this automatically started to play but once i click on play button there you go the video is playing i click on pause it's paused play pause play 
pause pretty much smooth right so that being done let's try to interact uh, with the sound option as well for that i need to create two more variants because there could be four permutations and combinations of these two options for that reason we need to create four variants out of it so i'm gonna add two more variants like this and in this case we're gonna create the options first and then we'll look at the properties so here we have the play we have the pause and here we'll again make this as a play i'm going back to the layers I'll make this play with muted options and this is going to be pause with mute. So if you can see all the four combinations are done and now we got to set the video properties for this. So for this case, I'll select the video in this. As you can see, this should be paused with no sound, right? So I'll go to properties I'll make this pause and here you have the audio properties, right? So if I click on this, now it's muted. So that means this is perfect. And also this is an option to loop it, right? Let's say for any background videos or that you're placing on your website or things like that, you can also use the loop option moving on to the next variant in this case the video should play with no sound so it's playing and here i'll keep it as no sound so our properties are right all we got to do is add interactions now so in this case once i click on this it basically has to mute right so i'll click on this add an interaction to this variant because this is the variant where it's muted that is done and in this case this also should get muted so i click on this and drag an interaction to the fourth variant where it's muted so moving on to the first option here so if i click on this i want the video to play but the sound should be muted so i click on this and drag an interaction to this one because here it's playing with muted so that is perfect and in this case what should happen the sound should get enabled right so this scenario is the first one so i go to this that is done and finally moving on to the interactions for this variant so i click on this first option it has to play once i click on this but the audio should be muted so the third variant is the right one and for this case the audio should just turn on and nothing should happen to pause or play so the second variant is the right one for that so i think all the interactions or the controls are connected now let's see how this behaves so i go back to the video player i click on present and i reset the prototype and as you can see it is initially not playing i click on play button i can hear the sound i click on this the sound is muted i can hear the sound again I click on pause. There you go. We have the complete video player working. So that is basically how you can create an interactive video player component on Figma. I'll make sure to add this file on the community file so you can go ahead and use it. But it's pretty straightforward. Just drag and drop your video and you can start using it with different controls. So there are a lot of more possibilities with this. I'll make sure to create a new video on that. Until then, I hope you love the video. Thanks for watching.